Ah, uh, yes. The American dream. Being a turnip. Who commits tax evasion? Hi, this is Acid Drinks, and today I'm here to review the game Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Here, I'm going to tell you if I think it's worth your time to play this and for Achievement Hunters to get the completion. But before I start, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Dubby Energy. I personally use Dubby and it helps me so much with keeping my focus on gaming so I can do these videos for you guys. So if you wouldn't mind, just check them out at dubby.gg. And if you do decide to buy something, use the code AC1D at checkout and that will save you 10% off of your purchase. Now, let's get into the review. Now, this game is super weird. You play as a turnip who doesn't really talk, except for exclamation points and question marks. But you find out you've committed tax evasion right off the bat. Rip that up. Just rip up everything you find. You'll thank me later. You also somewhat discover a war that happened that may have made everybody the way they are. That's what I figured, though. But if not, let me know in the comments. Gameplay was pretty good. If you're a fan of the older Legend of Zelda style games with that top-down view. Otherwise, most of the mechanics you use are just fighting bosses, destroying bushes, and doing errands for everyone, which honestly kind of got annoying if you're trying to go for all the achievements. Speaking of which, up next is... Now, this is the first video that I will probably say if you're just wanting achievements, play this on PC. This game is also, surprise, on the Xbox Game Pass as of this release. It also, funny enough, came out on the last day for taxes in America. The reason why I say to play on PC, though, is because if you're playing on Xbox, some of the achievements are glitched. I think it's two different ones. One of them is kind of a spoiler, and the other one is endgame stuff. However, you can unlock all achievements if you go into the settings, and you can turn on a damage multiplier and also invulnerability. This game also has some replayability because of endgame content that if you want to get more stuff to unlock, you can ride the train and get more loot. Other than that, there really isn't much replayability, sadly. So, my honest opinion, you guys, are you ready? It's going to be a 7 out of 10 for me. This game was enjoyable, but the fact that the achievements are glitched with no patch in sight kind of sucks. And the saves don't even transfer over either. So if you pretty much beat the game on console, you have to replay the entire game on PC again if you're going for achievements. But this game was pretty fun. It got some quirky little things that made it fun and exploring and seeing the weird hijinks that goes on. So, what did you think of this game? Did you enjoy it more than me? If you did, let me know what you like most about it. If you disagree, that's also cool. Just let me know. Well, this is Acid Drinks, and this is my review.